I cannot think of the deep sea without shuddering at the nameless things that may at this very moment be crawling and floundering on its slimy bed, worshipping their ancient stone idols and carving their own detestable likeliness on submarine obelisk of water-soaked granite. I dream of a day when they may rise above the billows to drag down their reeking talons, the remnants of the puny, more exhausted mankind. Of a day when the land shall sink and the dark ocean floor shall ascend amidst the universal pandemonium.